Hello. I'm Dan Dage. Here I am again. Uh, hopefully in a little higher resolution this time, since I'm using a real video camera and not a webcam. And I want to talk to you a little bit about communication boards. Uh, specifically the GoTalk series. I have about three different kinds here that I'm going to show you. I have a stack of more than that. But I'll just show you the more the basic one here, which is called the GoTalk 4. Okay, and this overlay doesn't go with this machine, but I'm putting it in here just to show you uh, how I use this. This is called the GoTalk 4 Plus. The Plus stand for these more static uh, expressions up here that are the same over all levels. The GoTalk 4 Plus has five levels. That means I can have five different overlays with uh, four different expressions on each one for a total of 20 expressions for this uh, one machine. This 4 Plus would be used for someone with uh, limited, uh, limited vocabulary, limited cognitive ability, limited uh, orthopedic ability. You just want them to this is kind of an early learning tool for someone who's learning to use a voice output device. And on this one I have the expressions uh, for conversation. Hi, hello, uh, I'm doing fine, how are you, and goodbye. Just very basic expressions for having a conversation. Uh, as I said, I have the uh, levels here. I got volume control right here on the front. On the back, we have the on-off switch right here and then we have a record button and then you have this thing that's really hard to get to you need a paper clip or something called a erase that'll just erase the whole thing uh, and those are just the basic components of all of the go talks the microphone is right here so when you record your voice or record a message uh, it'll appear right here in fact let's go ahead and record one let's go ahead turn it on Okay, I'm going to push this button right back here, and you'll see that it's flashing number four, and that's the level that I'm going to go ahead and use right, right here, right now, I think. Let me see. Right. Yep, that's the one I want to record over. Okay, so I push this button in the back. The red light comes on, and I push, hi, hello. Okay, and I push it again. And I push, hi, hello. Okay. Let's try this one more time, and I'll record all four of these at once. Hi, hello. I'm fine. How are you? Goodbye. And then I push it again, and that turns off the record mode. Now you see that I pushed it once to record, and then push it again Hi, hello. to stop. And then after I push this back button, this red light goes out. I'm fine. And it just uh, repeats what I just said. How are you? Goodbye. And that's just the way, uh, the basic operation of a GoTalk. I have right here, this is a GoTalk 9 Plus, okay, and so I can get a few more expressions on here. Uh, I can, uh, I, I still have the plus, only this time instead of two, I have three, so I have uh, yes, let's see, yes, no, no, and I don't know, I don't know. Here's another, another Go Talk 9, and you see I have parts of the body up on here, where we talk about the parts of the body, washing, brushing teeth, combing hair, taking a shower, uh, doing some different things with personal grooming, personal hygiene. And here's a GoTalk 4 of that same of that same kind of overlay. It's a lot more basic because I only got four spaces, but this is for somebody with a little bit lower ability than my GoTalk 9. And if I really have somebody who's pretty sharp, here's a GoTalk 20 plus. Okay, I have my I have five static messages up here plus 20 more down here that I can use. And this is all parts of the body and grooming and so I can include a few more like trimming nails and ankles and water and soap and separate categories here. But that's basically the GoTalk 9. You, in order to make overlays for these, 
still use uh, a program called Board Maker. Board Maker is by Mayor Jam Johnson, the same place you can buy these from. And uh, even though these are created by attainment company, they kind of work together in the Board Maker software runs about three hundred dollars. So if we're talking about if you individually as a parent would want to get one of these, the whole outfit with the Board Maker software in this would be about six hundred dollars. Uh, but the board maker will service all of these GoTalks plus other augmentative communication devices. Uh, so board maker can be used, and it can be used for a lot of different things besides communication devices. But I just wanted to expose you to the GoTalk and just kind of show you a little bit how I use it. I use it in lessons about body and hygiene. I just also have one here of basic expressions. Uh, you know, I feel happy, but I need to be quiet. I won't bike. Uh, I want to get down out of my wheelchair. I need to be changed. See, these are uh, all expressions that a child in my class could use uh, just on the fly, not attached to any specific lesson. But if I want to use a lesson, then I can uh, pull out, you know, an overlay. This one I happen to use photographs that I got from Google about music. Uh, it says play some hip-hop, play some country music, play some rock and roll, play some religious music. You know, just giving them uh, some choices and preferences. As I said before, I use this with academics. In uh, this one, like I said, I have the parts of the body here. I can have them, I can use these in pairs. I can have one student uh, talk about the parts of the body and he'll say uh, hands. He'll say hands and then everybody has to hold up their hands. Finger. And everybody has to hold up their finger. So you can have a student kind of guide other students in kind of a Simon Says type of game using this. So it can be used for rec leisure as well as uh, academic lessons. If I'm going to study about uh, different kinds of plants, I could put the different parts of the plant on here and different kinds of plants and that kind of thing. Uh, so the potential of this uh, device is kind of kind of limitless and we use them a lot. Uh, of course, my students aren't here and I aren't using them right now in their rec leisure uh, activity. And this is one of the downfalls of having uh, communication devices, even though at two, between two and three hundred dollars or three and four hundred dollars, they're considered, these are considered cheap. Uh, if I, they really aren't, three hundred dollars is really not that cheap, especially when, you know, our county office gives us a hundred dollars a year to spend on things like this. It's not, it's not really cheap. Uh, so we don't let them just carry them anywhere or carry them around or whatever, but we do use them a lot in the classroom and I will have them out for the kids to use. And I can actually uh, have several of them. I could have this one on parts of the body and then have this one here beside it. So a student can actually use two of them at the same time. One uh, for regular expressions and then one for uh, the lessons. I could have one, you know, I need a break, I need to get down, you know, and try to manage some behaviors using the GoTalk and the voice output devices. Almost all of my students are nonverbal. So the voice output device is one way that I can give my students a way to communicate. So I'm just exposing you to some different communication devices. Uh, and I'll, you know, if you have any questions about any of them or how to use these or anything else you can go ahead and leave a comment or email me or uh, contact me via my profile on TeacherTube but I want to thank you for joining me today